to order. Is there any public comment for items not on the agenda? Hmm. No public, I see a Steve. I just wanted to mention about road conditions, and I don't know if I should say it now or under road commissioner updates. Well, I don't know if Alfred's coming. Yeah, Alfred's not coming. I would have. Yeah. Well, then say it now. Okay. Um, I received a um, complaint about the road conditions, you know, our first storm of the year um, this weekend. And, you know, Lightning Ridge, if I know the elevation at my house is 1,340 feet which is much different than the elevation at Route 14. And so, um, you know, even as far as leaving at 6 a.m. this morning, you know, the road was still pretty icy. It wasn't sanded at all. I left my house 7 a.m. on Saturday to go to work, and Lightning Ridge wasn't sanded. There was no sand. I could see in the callous roads. Um, but as soon as I got to Admant Village, East Montpelier came down Center Road. They kept their sander on through Admit Village and went up Paget Road to the county road, and that's the way I go to work, you know, in mm -hmm. conditions like this. So as um, soon as I got to Admit, they had already sanded. So, you know, I mean, I think that the road conditions warranted sanding, um, and I don't know why it wasn't sanded. And um, and I did get complaints. John Winston called me twice about it, um, and and he said he leaves for work at 6 a.m. Um, and I know my husband had to put four-wheel drive on, lock out his hubs at the bottom of Lightning Ridge, just past the school, because he couldn't make it up. We call it Doug Lilly's Hill. He couldn't make it up. Um, and so, you know, they might. I don't know what they based their thing on about when to go out or why. I don't know if they didn't do it because it was the weekend. Um, but conditions are conditions and people, you know, I work at a hospital that doesn't close and, you know, I know John leaves for work at 6 a.m. So, you know, they need to be on it. So, yeah, I didn't notice if they had did any road maintenance on this. Uh, they have been sanded. Yep. Yeah. So, anyway, so that's my public comment. It was greasy. Yeah. That said, I did have bald summer tires and I navigated it okay, carefully. So, it spun a little bit, but um, on a front wheel drive. Mm -hmm. But I didn't try to go up Doug Lilly's hill. Mm -hmm. I would not have made it up that hill. Yeah, Greg tried and he couldn't. He had to back down and lock out his hubs. And he had the six-wheeler dump truck. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So noted. Yeah, thanks. That hill's crazy. Oh, yeah, it's the hill before you get to his farm. It is. It's on the It's got yeah, corners, and it's just a, it's just a little. It, it, it's you're doing all right. You're like I'm gonna make it, and then it it bends and it goes up. You know? oh. There's you go. one like that on factory too. I mean, it's just probably the same yeah. hill on the opposite yeah. side. Yeah. Hmm. But they're I didn't realize about, it was good such, such a bad hill. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Okay. Additions, changes to the agenda. And you saw Alfred, and he said he wasn't coming? Yes, I asked him, I said, as he was going to pick up his excavator from down the road and before the storm. He said, are you coming to the meeting tonight? He's like, I didn't see anything on the agenda for me to be there, so I guess not. Yeah, and I didn't, I sent um, Alfred and Toby an email and said, do you have anything for the agenda? Yeah. Didn't get a reply back from Alfred, and Toby's reply was, I'm out of town. So. Yeah. All right. Um, I told Sandra and Judy they didn't need to come tonight. I don't think there's anything as far as updates on the town hall. I was still working on the septic issue. That's presenting a, some challenges. So we're having a town hall committee meeting this Wednesday. So maybe we'll get some more information and do another This meeting still at 8 a.m.? Yep. It's Kind of been in a holding pattern the past couple of weeks because oh, I'm waiting for there to be significant activity to justify coming back together and updating everyone. So, so with the storm and everything, you guys will still be meeting tomorrow, at 8 a.m. Wednesday. Or Wednesday. Yeah. Right. Well, I assume so. Yeah. Um, well, that will be clear. It'll be clear on Wednesday. Yeah, and I also want to get an update on um, when Green Line might start. Right, so we had to wait for Perry's to finish the concrete work. Really? Not done yet? I mean, Act 46, I don't think there's any update on that right now. There is a um, 
school board meeting on the 15th, Thursday. That Thursday? Yes. At, Barry. You know, is it Barry? I thought it was yeah, at, the UC, yeah. at the elementary school at 6 or 30 or something. Uh, Barry Elks Lodge, they, but that's they said they had a change, 8.30 a.m. No, I'm talking about night. Oh, you're talking about the, the Callis Elementary School? Right. Isn't that at 6.30 or 7? Yeah, yeah I have problems with 6.30. Yeah, 7. at the school. The uh, State Board of Education is having the big vote this Thursday. They commence the meeting at 8.30 in the morning. That's, That's at Barry Elks. Elks? At the Barry Elks Lodge. Is this where they're going to vote on? Force Washington. merging. Force merging everybody. Everybody they preliminarily said they were going to. I don't, I don't see it changing. So it's on the main floor meeting room, 10 Jefferson Street, Barry, Vermont. Yeah. I will be there. Okay. Any CBRPC updates? Not really. You know, the CWAC, Quack, Quack. Clean Water Advisory Committee met last Thursday. I was there. Um, <clears throat> we're just dubbing around. Um, you know, we, we commented on, we gave strong commentary on the the Winooski, the plan for... Um, Is that the Winooski River Winooski, Tactical Basin yeah, Plan? that's it. That's it. Oh, okay. Um, well, I don't know if they're going to incorporate our comments and concerns with the draft plan or not. What were the concerns? Um, it's it's very narrow in terms of what they review for impacts to the drainages and to the lake that it ultimately feeds into. Um, you know, they look at phosphorus, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a usually a, the, the nutrient that's the limiting factor of plant growth, so mm -hmm. if you have too much in the system, the algae and bacteria and everything goes wild, so um, that's what they're trying to manage for. But there's so many other things that drain into that lake. Um, yeah. And they're not looking at that. And so our committee, um, quite frankly, my urging is going to be press, is pressing them to also look at runoff from, you know, pesticides. You know, mm -hmm. It was a big issue 10 years ago, pesticide drainage, and all of a sudden it vaporized. Oh, I thought it was still part of the issues. No? <laughs> I don't know. a &R was all about it. They weren't looking back before. They were looking at fire and talking about pesticides. And they had these programs with, you know, manage your lawns and try to avoid using herbicides. And, yeah. and all of a sudden it's huh. not part of the conversation, the main conversation. So it doesn't make sense. If you have someone out there sampling, you might as well sample for Right. And all the potential larger impacts. So hmm. that's what we're pressing for. Um, when are they going to decide? I don't know. You know, this uh, gets through the public comment period. When does the public comment period end? I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, I thought it was the, a bigger that's pretty picture narrow. of they what they're they look looking at. at. They look at sediment and, and nutrient and phosphorus. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Um, Rose, you want to start passing the order around? Sure. Um, I'll pass it. <laughs> good enough, good enough, cut left. I'll yes. Take it to you. Well played. <laughs> well played, Rose. Ha ha ha. Um, all right. We're a little bit, I don't think anybody else will show up to the snowmobile thing. You're not expecting anybody else, are you, Steve? No, no. Okay, everybody got the memo from Steve. Thank you. Get this done and over with so you guys can go out and play. So Steve, yeah. how long have the Mountain Tamers been in business? We uh, had our first organizational meeting in December 1969. Wow. And we organized in January of 70. Wow. So 48 years. That's correct. You wow. had 48 years to tame the mountain. How's that going? We haven't got it done yet. <laughs> <laughs> We work on it every year. <laughs> the it's a wild set of mountains out there. Yeah. yeah. So I think every, everybody's had a chance to look at your um, okay. memo. And I guess my question is, has it changed at all from last no. year? No. Just, just quickly, a couple of highlights on it. There's eight, uh, eight sections of roads within the town of Callis. Only the first two involve what we call quarter trails, which are the main trail systems that are mapped on the... Uh, state uh, vast map. 
the others are just very local pieces of road that were for access only. Um, over the years, we've had snowmobilers who weren't right on the main trails, mm -hmm. and in order to get there, um, they might have to ride down the side of the road. And that's what uh, uh, numbers three through eight are. And some of those aren't even being used now, and, and I, I hesitated. I almost dropped some of them, but until I guess to confirm that, another year you might see some of those gone. But we haven't changed this list, um, really. Uh, a number of them, uh, two or three of them there in the middle, uh, really involved our attempt to try to keep access to the store in uh, East Callis Village uh, available. How are you going to do it on the gas anymore? Fell off where leave home, I guess. Okay. But we don't even have a trail into there now. We, we never really did have a trail in. It was a kind of a private uh, up through the old ball grounds, Dwight Ellis property, and but it, we had it was permission for it, and we tried to work with the store yeah. to keep it available. But uh, there's a terrible washout in it down there now, and there's just no yeah. no money to yeah. Fix there's it. a project. I, I understand East there is. Falls yes. Erosion project that's looked yeah. at. Yeah. If, if that was done, if something was done to that mm -hmm. washout there, then we could uh, we could. We have a bridge over uh, all that we built two years ago down across from Dave Jeffrey's house that's all in good shape and, and the trail could be utilized, but not for that washout up there. Yeah, because I was looking to see, because well, you know, my son has that the bridge. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that on there. Which one of he, them? He wouldn't, he wouldn't be on there. He wouldn't be on this. Okay. No, the only, th these are only public highways I see. <clears throat> that cars move on, <laughs> so to speak. And to legally ride a snowmobile on them, you have to have permission from the yeah. local governing yeah. body. And uh, to cross, to use driveways, so that's all between oh, the, okay. the club and the uh, private owners, as it is with Aaron. Yeah. And, uh, but if, if we were going to ride up out of Peck Hill Road, for instance, uh, right. we'd have to have permission from you folks to do that. How many members does Mount Tamer? We have uh, club members, uh, I think we had 106 last year. That's quite a few. Yes. 93 of them were uh, actual snowmobilers. We have <clears throat> 10 or a dozen club members every year that are non-snowmobilers. Hmm. Cross-country skiers, uh, just generally interested, generally interested people who choose to join the club because they use the trails and mm. want to contribute, and that's fine. Good. Only $10. <laughs> Yeah, bargain price. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I might add, um, we we're kind of proud of it. Last year, our club was awarded the best room trails in the state of Vermont by the Vermont Association of Snow Travelers. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We received recognition for that at the annual meeting, which was held in uh, Sheldon uh, wow. in uh, September. The best room trails in the whole state? Yes. And there's only one given out a year. That's impressive. Well, we, we, we hung to it last year. We groomed when some other clubs didn't bother to groom. It was a terrible winter. But uh, we've got a pretty good uh, work. Uh, volunteers, mm -hmm. groomer operators, we have uh, four, basically, f f you can call it five, guys that run the groomer. And it's a six or an eight hour run. And they groom all of our trails twice a week, wow. it, conditions wow. permitting. Mm -hmm. And every, every trip is six to eight hours. Just to do, we, we, we maintain 45 miles of trails in, down in, in Callis and Woodbury, but not too many of them are in Woodbury, most yeah. of them in Callis. And we groom them, try to go over and back, two passes, twice a week. That's a lot of time. <clears throat> yeah, it is. It is a lot of volunteer. How much fuel do you use in a season? <laughs> uh, several hundred gallons. Yeah, wow. And we have fuel tanks in two locations. <coughs> And we maintain those. And how many years will you get out of that groomer? Do you think? Well, I hope a good many. We just bought a new groomer. It's a peach. Um, it's a beauty. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, have you been in it? You? I I saw Bill uh, Davis. Bill, yeah, last Bill. Year. Bill is one of our operators. Yeah. And yes, yeah, so we're on a third year with that new mm -hmm. groomer. Thanks to having a couple to trade in and. Help from Vast and yeah. money that we save because it's a hundred and sixty-five thousand dollar piece of equipment. How much? Hundred and sixty-five thousand. 
beautiful. <laughs> Makes you want. We to should have some good trails. That's, yeah. what, that's what our goal was. <laughs> I guess it worked. Yeah. Good for you. Any other highlights? Um, or questions? No, I would be happy to attempt to answer any questions. If anybody has any? We're we're constantly dealing with property owners, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the. Uh, this past year was a big year for us, uh, and one of them is still not resolved at this point because I've been having a hard time uh, connecting with the, the new owner, and that's um, David Nash that bought Stanley Morse's property. Oh. We crossed the county road at that yeah. point, yeah. and um, I'm hoping um, that he'll allow us, well, obviously, indefinitely, but at least this one until we find an alternative around it. But we had a couple other farms, Wayne Betty Morse's. Property was changed hands. Um, George Peterson's, which was um, the farm that Mitch Brown was running on, he still oh. that changed hands. It did. Uh, yeah. And uh, every time that happens, it's such a big piece of property, is that it's right. it's, it's a nice. challenge. Yeah. So I hear they're putting four houses in on the stands. That's the rumor. <laughs> but if we could get through this winter, then I think we can. We may be able to find a way around it. Oh. Some of the other property owners are cooperating. Yeah. They don't, then we're, we're done there. And that's one of our main connectors because we have a... Does that go to Worcester? We have an intersection post out in the back, which is on um, uh, Mac and Cindy, um, Gardner Morris's property, and that's where the Worcester Trail turns off. That goes down into the village of Worcester and, from, and through Worcester and over the mountain range and into Neal and Platts and Waterbury. Oh, wow, that's a pretty important... But it's an important trail. Yeah. So. Um, all right, if there's any no further questions, I'll make a motion to approve the um, Mountain Tamers request for plowed highway use by the snowmobiles for the 2018-19 season. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, hearing none, you're good to go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks Thank for coming. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Steve. Steve. We appreciate your support. Sure. <clears throat> All right. Up next, um, just a little background. Cliff and I met with Andy Felice last week on Friday. That guy over there? Yeah, that guy over there. <laughs> and I had, I found, and you'll see it on the screen, mm -hmm. some old documents, and one of them is from like 2016. Um, 17. So anyways, there's some varying lists here, and I actually found um, a Gospel Hollow Warden job description from 2011. Mm -hmm. So we met with Andy, and he's already thinking and got ideas. Um, so we just wanted to, we thought we should meet with the board. Um, we currently pay $50 a month, and that's kind of like, Andy, can you come change the light bulbs? The smoke alarms beeping, um, you know, kind of just minor things yeah. like that. So I have a question. How many carpenters does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know, Andy, you know the answer to that? I don't have a good joke. Uh, <laughs> I'm not armed with a joke. Uh, Why don't you come up and, come and join us? One. I can tell you how many <laughs> union carpenters it takes. <laughs> <laughs> See that? <laughs> How many? I just hooked up with him before the meeting. All of them? 16. 16. You got a problem with that? <laughs> <laughs> and then how long does it take? Well, it depends if there's a coffee break in between. Right. <laughs> okay. So we, we talked to Andy about some additional duties, which means additional time, and um, some of it will be won't happen because right now the town hall isn't in operation. Right. So right now it would just be the town office. And you can see that there are some additional duties. Andy went and looked outside at the roof. Um, I still haven't found that quote. I asked the stop. The Hutchins quote? The Hutchins quote. 5,000 dollar quote. quote. Yeah. Right. But we were interested in seeing it because we would like to see their diagnosis of the issue issue yeah. and what the proposed fix is and also we wanted to know who did the original roof and i still i don't have an answer to that either Bolzer. Bolzer. he did 
That's my that recollection. Sense. I don't I didn't remember that. Oh, okay. Oh. I could be wrong, I am pretty sure. Probably. Do you like to clean anything else while you're at it? Um, that's the scuzzy here. So anyways, we just wanted to start, we haven't finalized anything yet. We asked Andy how much he charges. We don't know if we want it, if it's better to do it by the hour, whether it's better to do a little bit more of a stipend and then see what things might be beyond the scope of what would just be like additional routine stuff like the shoveling around the fuel tanks and removing snow from the generator and getting snow off the back porch. That seems like for the, the winter anyways, that's going to be kind of routine that you're going to have to, you know, come and check and be on top of it. Yeah. Um, And we asked Andy about doing a, um, like a spreadsheet that would be like routine summer stuff, routine winter stuff, and then additional projects, which would be kind of overseeing someone fixing the roof, building a cover over the generator. What? I'm going to separate you. Inside joke. We're not, we're not telling you. When, when we get to that page, I'll point Okay. Um, the radon system that Andy noticed wasn't turned on. Turned on. So when I sent John McCullough an email, I don't know if huh. I after all that, that on radon, how did it get turned off? It was one of a few weeks ago. No, just I don't know. Yeah, we were thinking that maybe it was just the noise because it makes you know it's a humming uh, noise. Yeah, it probably just bothers him. They were here today checking it. They, they were. were the generator or the radon? Both. Oh, they do both. Somebody was doing both today, and somebody uh, was doing something. <coughs> So we should get a copy of those reports. Do you have a license plate? No, I have two trucks, and then I left. <laughs> so Judy knows. Judy knows. <laughs> we pay right now fifty dollars per which per month per month period. Right. But it hasn't involved a lot of these other duties. Right. It's been it's been the one offs. Right. Not less maintenance and more just. Right. Change light bulbs. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Just, you know, kind of fire alarms beeping. Yeah, things, things that are actually need to need, need to be addressed right now. Yeah, right. And they just call Andy, and he comes over and does it. Right. But some of these other things are more um, keep it on top of it, like especially this winter. Good thing. So, did you have any more thoughts about this after <coughs> our, me our meeting? Not necessarily. No, I'm still. Getting my head around, I haven't had time to really uh, do that spreadsheet you wanted me to do yet. But yeah, no, I didn't I expect will. you would by today. Yeah, I mean, I think once I do that, I'll get my own head around what this entails. And right, like for instance, there's a monthly thing of um, checking the water filter. Right, we, we talked we talked about that when Jonathan was here, but then it, it was probably right before he left. Right? Yeah. So anyway, some of these things they just kind of they haven't gotten. Here's the list None. of the things Jonathan has captured. Yeah. Do we change out the filter every month? Huh? I think you just no. check it. I'm not sure. It's just really it. a check thing because typically in a clear water filter household, replace it like every three months. You're not doing more here. You're not here. Right. You're not right. Right. water. Yeah. So that's Andy and I talk about that. Well, gee, how often would you have to do it here? Is it once a year? Once every six months? It's really a visual thing, though. You can see when they're coming. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And, you know, then we have to, I think we have the fire protect people come twice a year to check the fire extinguishers. Yeah. So it's just, you know, it's kind of keeping track of all that so that the office staff doesn't have to um, try to deal with all that stuff plus everything else. Mm -hmm. And also so that it's, it's clearly distinguished from the operations Correct. manager function, Correct. right? Correct. So we might be moving in a direction of actually capturing all these miscellaneous lists and whatever Andy wants to add to a job description or something. Right. Yeah. 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 So this, so we're kind of in the planning stages, talking stages, but we didn't want it to get too far without, you know, having the whole board weigh in on it. But it's something we've talked about on and off, and I know the office staff would really. Mm -hmm. appreciate 
not happen to have some, you know, that on their radar. Yeah. Do you have a list somewhere of the people that come in, like <clears throat> the fire guys you just mentioned, those guys that were young guys that were here today? That no, we can probably put people, them together. Yeah. Just get them. Uh, we can, we will meet, we'll be meeting with the staff, I think, on Wednesday. So we can ask them about a list and then show you where the files the are. The generator people. Yeah, that's Brookfield. Yeah. Brookfield. Yeah. yeah. So something like the generator cover that we talked about, actually, you know, Andy's a carpenter, so I think they had a concern about how, how enclosed or how high the roof was because of the um, exhaust. Yeah. So Andy would have to check with them and then, you know, he could build that and that's where I would see maybe he charges additional amount per hour for a project like that. Or so, just, he just figures out what it would cost to do it because it's a special project, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we would also imagine this would <coughs> evolve once Town Hall comes back on. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, then there'll be a whole other list of maintenance terms Thanks. because the Town Hall will be usable downstairs year round. Yeah. When we get it back up and running. Yeah. So that, you know, would be a different set of duties. I would, you know, some of them would be the same, but some addition, additional. Sure. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> after we find the roof quote, we're still okay with having those guys trying to get out here this fall? Well, that winter slash winter. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. From, uh, tomorrow. 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 Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it would be ideal to get it done if they can. Yeah. Because every year, the, and you and as you pointed out, you saw where you can see the damage is just getting yeah. more and more this, the ice jam thing. Yeah. You know all about that. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Throw some tarps on it. Yeah. Seriously, you may as well if it's leaking. I want to go up there and stuff and just see if it is like getting in inside. Because if it is, you should probably do something. Because I just feel like it's highly unlikely that you're going to find a roofing company to come at this point. Mm -hmm. So what would you do with a temporary fix? Tarps? Know, just stuff like that. Yeah. Probably the grass and tarps are not all ripped out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. be able to get some kind of sealant in there, but the problem is, is there's one section of the seams where ice has gotten in underneath the metal and expanded and actually pulled it up. So that's going to be hard to yeah. create a patch for. I see a water shield. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Melt it on. But that's it. Then it's just going to, then, then those pans are going to be no good because you're not going to get it off. Yeah. You know. But won't you have to replace yeah. them anyway? I think so. Yeah. I probably. Yeah. It's probably easiest. Well, I know Hutchins is the one who gave the quote, but I emailed the staff. Friday or Andy. Saturday. Andy. Oh, this staff. Yeah, um, this staff to see if they could dig out the quote. Because I looked when we were here on Friday. I looked through everything I could think of in the file cabinet to find it. And they probably have a copy of it. I would think. Yeah, you well, you call them. Call Randy Hutchins. Yeah. So do you want to take on calling him, or do you want sure, to? Sure. Yeah, no, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So anyway, so this is kind of where we're at. So we're still trying to work out some of the details. The money piece, because we haven't budgeted, right? You know, a lot of money for the rest of this year for more maintenance, but it, it needs to get done. There's no point in having these nice buildings if we don't take care of them. So, Definitely. so that so we're going to meet with Andy again, right? Before we have to do the budget. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to have to get an idea of. Most, uh, I mean, I want to get the storms and stuff like that. Right. I mean, I could start doing some of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And I guess we need some feedback from you about, like, some of these things that are on the list that are going to be kind of ongoing weekly or whatever, what you think would be a fair stipend per month. Yeah, <coughs> yeah sure. So we're going to need that. Not, not that we maybe... I, I have no idea. Me neither. Right. Yeah, right now, it's right Do you now. have anything like allocated for something like that? Because I'm not sure how much work it's going to be. Right. It's highly likely it's going to be uh, 
the most <coughs> unworth it thing ever. <laughs> the most what? I, I'm just treating it as a service to the town at this point, you know? So if you, I'm not like interested in making, it's not going to be worth it for me to get paid like hourly to do a lot of this stuff. I don't think. No, 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 that's why I'm thinking that, you know, if we had a, right now we're paying 50. Yeah. Um, maybe the thing to do is for you to keep track of time. Yeah. And then we can see, Gauge, you know. Like, yeah, that's a good idea. And, and kind of go from there because we don't really have any idea. We've never had this person. Yeah, so if you Before. look at the at the list, the standard work list, and then anything off that list would be doable yeah. right. outside of the whatever the stipend is. Because we have the reserve fund, town office yeah. reserve fund, um, that like the roof piece would come out of that. That roof's instance. not going to be 5,000 because the metal's gone up. I know the roofing metal. Yeah. 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 Yes. So that means it has to go out the bid then? Well, we're supposed to if it's I think it's over five thousand. Um, we have a policy that says mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I mean this is repairs and maintenance. There is a possibility, um, Andy had brought this up, that we may be able to arrange to have the panels cut. Um, oh, that's right. Hutchins possibly could do that for us, but not actually install them. We could work with Annie with Andy perhaps. Oh. Andy knows that they've done that in other oh, circumstances yeah. before, so we might find that. some creative ways to handle it. Right, so we yeah. pay with the, the materials and pay for the labor yeah. separate. Oh, wow. Yeah, that might work. You got that kind of time in your schedule? To call Hutchins? No, no, that, well, to have them, they'll make the panels, yeah, yeah. The, they'll form them, and then you have time. You have to time install to the roof? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But wouldn't that solution well, wouldn't that solution assume that there's no damage underneath right. this panel? Well, we don't. That's, but, well, that's what we don't know. He's going to be looking at that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So okay. that that only works if Andy comes back and says. Right. And we may not be able to do it, you know, all this the season as you mentioned. But we got to do something, I think, temporarily. If you don't, you talk to Hutchins and they say, eh. Well, they'll, they'll form stuff all winter. I know that. Just they like, will. Yeah. And then maybe you say we can't, and we pay for that, and then comes spring, you know, then you install it. But in the meantime, we got to have some kind of temporary fix, like you said, with the whatever that stuff's called. Yeah. I see more issues. I mean, I think it's going to be hard to get Ernie, because he's going to be, I don't know. He's going to be on the town, the town hall. hall. Yeah, town hall. How much, I mean, if you were just going to patch it just to get us through the season, how much, I mean, I have no idea how much time something like that would take. Uh, I think a couple hours or something like that. Yeah. Okay. In the summer would be really quick. So could you call Hutchins and then email me with? Sure. And then I can. Yeah. Pass it along. I think. Um, I forgot your name. Sharon. Sharon said is correct in that it's probably going to take even if you got those guys lined up, there's probably going to be some damage that needs to get dealt with. Well, you mentioned so, that there might be damage on that on Friday. Yeah. Something about insulation and yeah, all that. Mm. But if we could at least so, get it patched so it doesn't do anything more. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably the best move. Right. Get through this winter. Right. Is it only leaks when, you know, when the ice builds up or is it leaking continuously? I think it's only in the winter when the ice builds up and then things melt. And the cliff said it was lifted up. Uh, if you had a driving rain, I'd be surprised if water's not getting in. All right. So maybe we don't even bother with Hutchins this year. I'll and call them and see, at least see right. if we can get a copy of the, of of the quote. quote. Yeah. yeah and that. they might even be able to say, yeah. hey, yeah, we'll look at it and give you an updated copy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they they might even save the quotes. I mean, well, it was just yeah, last year. It was 2017. Right. They're, well, that's what we're hoping that they did. They're, they're probably going to charge more, though, to, on the metal end. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm also going to reach out to Alan uh, Beauregard as well. For a couple of reasons, uh, if he did the original roof, um, you know, he's probably got an idea of the way it's seamed yeah. and everything. Yeah. And then uh, he may just want to do it, you know, for that yeah. price. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll leave you to take that by the reins. Yeah. And I'm like I said, we want to treat you fairly, but we don't really know sure. what that is yet. Yeah. You help us figure it out. Well, yeah. thank you in advance, though, for saying that. You know, you really want to contribute to the town, and 
We really appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of like what we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although we don't every week. Week. Kinda... <laughs> and we don't, but we don't go on roofs. So. No. Right here. <laughs> you do more than that. All right. Well, thanks, Andy. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, just keep, Thank us, keep you. us updated. We'll check in with Thank you. Thank your family for letting us have you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And just so you know, we usually meet with the office staff on Wednesday mornings around 9. Okay. Office staff on 9? Right. So if you have something that... Um, Questions, Wait, what whatever. Are we talking about? We usually meet with the office staff every Wednesday morning Wednesday. Around, uh, around 9. Okay. Um, so if you ever have to stop in and want to ask questions or look at files or whatever, that's a good time to do it. Okay. Great. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, really appreciate Thank it. you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Right. Okay. Mm. Swim committee. <coughs> Are you, are you being committee or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to say hello? Yeah. Sure. All right. That's good. No, we said. All know. right. Thanks for coming, ladies. And the case was already here, so yeah, that worked out. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just asking everybody, boards, committees, commissions, to come in and give us an earful. <laughs> yeah, we're here with our swim program report, which. Each year, we have prepared um, to go in the in the handbook that everyone gets for town meeting. So it's the same sort of thing that you would have seen in the past with updated information from the last year. The past summer, um, there were 72 kids who participated, a but lot. a lot of them came back multiple times. That number is down a little. It does vary year to year, but there are a lot of families that signed up for, rather than being in one session, they signed our kids up for a whole bunch. So although it was 72 individual children, there were a lot more like slots than that, that Ruby taught. Um, it is a pretty great deal. Kids in Calus pay $12 to come for a week's, a week's worth of lessons, and a lot of kids do come from out of town. Um, and anyone who's had kids in it or neighbors in it, it's, it's a very sweet program. Ruby is awesome and did a fabulous job the last two years. Right. And she, she loves the kids too. Yeah, she can yeah. literally throw stones in yeah. the <laughs> It's a pretty big job to ask a teenager to do also because you have, we, we ask parents to stay. Mm -hmm. So she has a line of parents with kids who are waiting <laughs> and, you know, she's, she, she's got all the kids that are like, bursting at the seams with excitement for their lesson. All the parents were observing what's happening. Mm -hmm. And then community members are coming down. <laughs> sometimes she's turning them away, because sometimes you can't swim because she's got a handful, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, I, I think it's wonderful. What a great learning experience for yeah. her. Yes. Great, a lot of responsibility. Yes. Mm -hmm. So do they issue, you, you said that a Red Cross instruction method, it, do they get the little Red Cross cards and, and they, they go through the different levels? Yeah, that's exactly really? how she does it. I'm not sure how much, to, if she issues the cards themselves, but she uses that um, so kind of like So she's a certified annual. instructor? She is, yeah, and we, we only can hire certified wow. water safety mm -hmm. instructors and they have to be 18. Yeah. <clears throat> and they can't get that certification until they're 16, so we can't hire yeah. anyone younger than right. 16 for that role. So Ruby decided when someone decides they might want to take this job, we interviewed candidates for the position the year before this past summer, and that's a pretty big commitment on their part to decide that they want to go through with that. She had to go to Williston for a few days, mm -hmm. and it was a few days of training for her. So mm -hmm. she, they come out of it, she's not wondering what to do. She really hit the ground running her first year and knew what she was doing, and she's doing a wide range of ages. Mm -hmm. She's got teeny tiny kids in the water with their Aww. parents, and she's got older kids that she's teaching how to dive. Mm -hmm. That's wow. cool. And CPR, she has to be a water safety instructor mm -hmm. and then CPR instructor as well in order to yeah. Everybody it sounds like an everybody win situation. It's wonderful. It really yeah. is. And there's a lot of parents who are getting to know each other there. And of course, children learning not to drown is like really great in our area mm -hmm. because we have so much water. Mm -hmm. And so to see kids who come back every year and are getting really better, it's, it's they're learning there. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, and that's something that people still talk about from when they were kids. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I hear that too. You know, which is really great. We have um, in the last two years started. Um, contacting Cal Elementary with scholarships just to just really help kids. We, you know, we had noticed some uh, changes and trends over who's showing up just with more two-parent families where both people are working. Mm -hmm. we're, t we're tending to get like a different mix of kids than in the past. And so, then, but part of that means that we just want to really make sure that kids who might not otherwise know about it or really be connected into the opportunity are doing it. So 
Last year we had two kids um, with scholarships, and this year six kids. Oh, good. Okay. Would you say you're, you're getting more kids with two parents working or fewer? Um, we, because two parents are working, we're getting, like, I would say less of the, just the Calus Elementary School population has the availability to show up five days a week right. in the summer. Right. So we've had to be more active in soliciting people to show up from um, some of the private schools around I the see. neighboring towns. I see. I see. So you're. Yeah, we've got some kids from Worcester and Worcester. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Maybe some kids from Berry City. Wow. Can we? Yeah. Yeah. So what, what's the condition of the, the beach swim area? Is it still pretty good? It's not I'm bad. I think it was... Up, falling apart or... We did that big um, tree clearing project in around 2011, yeah. 2010, 2011. Yeah. And then about three years ago, um, Ginger Clammer organized some, some kind of work to just shore up some of the runoff that had happened So we, mm -hmm. in, in a couple different spots there. And now there is this Curtis Pond Association. Mm -hmm. um, I, we haven't been in close contact with them about, I, so far they haven't done a lot of right. stuff that I, I know they're, too. They're, that kind of, they're kind of getting And they're focusing on invasives and, and, and stuff like that. Yeah, but, and the um, beavers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. One of the nice things about the swim program is that there's so many families that are there for a good chunk of the day. Like they might come for half an hour lesson, but a lot of people might be there for four or five hours and they're there every day for a week or sometimes two weeks. So. It's, it's so many parents who are helping to keep things clean, keeping an eye on what's oh. happening there. Nice. There'll be a note up about balloons or, so I feel like the swim program, because we do offer the porta potty and we keep an eye on that, we all keep an eye on that all summer. We're doing the water testing and we're just generally and taking trash. And trash. Just assistance take care of the trash every mm -hmm. day. Yeah. Kind of so there's a lot of eyes on what's happening there for a good mm -hmm. portion of the day. That's, well, that's good. Yeah. Helpful. It's wonderful. One, yeah, what of the, a great thing. one of the pieces that we do have responsibility for that is part of our um, appropriation request is the docks. There's a floating dock that's mm -hmm. called the raft, and then there's the dock that is what you walk on to be able to jump off of, and those are also used for swim lessons. Um, it's super duper rocky when you walk in right there. It can be quite painful, and so Ruby uses that the dock in a number of ways. Mm -hmm. So You mean you can, it's movable? Mm -hmm. Well, it's... It shouldn't be. <laughs> right, it shouldn't be, but it is. It comes yeah, depending out. on the water levels. <laughs> we, the swim committee organizes it being put out at the beginning of the season and being removed at the end of the season, mm -hmm. both the raft and the docks. But those are made of wood, and they have approximately... We're, we're planning for replacement of each of them on an alternating schedule approximately every 10 to 15 years. And so part of our appropriation, you'll see that we have a little over $4,000 saved. Mm -hmm. Um, there's $4,200 in our available funds right now, and the dock estimate is between three dollars and $5,000 for replacement, mm -hmm. depending on how, what, what materials you use, et cetera. So I was a little confused. Okay, so you have, you have expenses. Mm -hmm. They came to thirty-five sixty-seven. Yes. So you have $71.25 left. The profit we made this year. And then... The avail and then, but you but you still have an additional forty two hundred yes. available. Okay, and we plan to buy, use that entire amount of available funds to buy um, the dock will need to be replaced after this coming summer, so it'll be able to be used this in two thousand and summer of two thousand and nineteen, but then it has to be replaced. The raft was replaced in two thousand thirteen, mm -hmm. and the raft is fine. So we have them in an alternating schedule. Mm -hmm. So in the past, our, our, um, our budgeted amount to ask from the select board was $2,700. Mm -hmm. Last year, we did not come to you with a request and the appropriation was reduced to 2,000. So that difference of 700 is how we are saving for replacement on that alternating mm -hmm. schedule and how it's been done in the past. In addition to if there's ever any tree issues, maintenance of that area yeah. in general. And we have offered a wetsuit in the past to our um, lifeguards, they can become absolutely like freezing in the right. water. Yeah. Yeah. It can be, it can be brutal. Well, just so you know, everybody got a cut pretty much last year, you know, from what they asked for because we're always trying to, always trying to save money yeah. for the taxpayers. Yeah. But so, but you're asking us to go back to the 2700. 
That's the and you, guys, yeah. and you guys might remember that last time we, when we had to purchase the raft, we mm -hmm. kind of came to, we didn't have the money. You guys lent it to us. We did fundraising, and you were like, hey, can you kind of do some more long-range planning yeah. around your site? Right. And we did, at that time, we doubled the, um, the swim lesson fees, and we increased it even more for the out-of-town people. They were very, very low then, and they continue to be low. But we, we did try to be you want to make it so responsible. Yeah. Yeah, we, their kids. we want it to feel really right. accessible. But anyway, so the, so so we we're coming in that spirit of just trying to be. So you're okay. I'm just gonna. So that there's no surprise for you ever in terms of we have a five thousand dollar dock that's not usable. We don't want to be in a position where we're asking for a dock out of the blue. Oh right, right. We'll, no, we'll, no, you're we'll, you're doing yeah. things the right way, planning, saving. <laughs> Capital Reserve Fund. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to write 2700 in here. Um, that's your request for this fiscal year 20. Yeah. Because right now we're still on FY19. When does, when do you guys start? It's a weird thing. We, we start the last week in June, so we cross the fiscal year line. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have paid for almost all of our expenses for the fiscal year that we're in. Yeah, but I was looking at that from a... Yeah, the only thing that will be in it, there's a, there's like a few dollars in insurance that Sandra said still is going to be in this year. And then our water testing, I pay for it in May because you have to pay for it in order to get your bottles to sample. So I paid $120 oh. in May. So it will come out of this fiscal year. Um, right. Yeah, because I saw something, an email where she was asking, or you were asking about yeah. the water testing part of it. Yeah, and we located that because it was actually finding the amount that we mm -hmm. everything is spent over the course of the summer from our perspective. Um, but we do cross the two fiscal years. But well, with the, new, with the new budget system that Katie's been hearing about ad nauseum, right? Mm -hmm. um, we should be able to better track those kinds of expenses instead of just one amount. And then you have an endowment? Mm -hmm. Yep. There's a, there's a $5,000 endowment that has some pretty interesting information in the file in the town office where it was originally a gift to the Curtis Pond Swim Committee, mm -hmm. but then that land was donated to the Swim Committee, which then they thought it would be better if it went through the land trust, and then the land trust decided the town. <laughs> should hold it because it didn't make sense for the swim committee to be holding this money. So the, the $5,000 endowment has um, restrictions on it. it can't, we can't utilize it. We're supposed to use the um, interest. Yeah, any interest made on it goes to the swim committee, but we are not supposed to <coughs> ever use the $5,000. Is there any interest? Use? It's in the CDs. I mean, yeah. you know, know that I, they had to use some of the interest yeah. uh, for the tree cutting project. Right, and that's, that's actually on my list of things. I, I haven't spoken with Sandra about find, understanding. I don't think we've. I haven't seen that come across in the last few years. Do you know if there's an amount of interest that we see? Yeah, no, I don't think we see it. So we have yeah, yeah, in the last two years. years. Yeah, I think we did. I mean, I remember around 2011, we kind of dug it out. I actually thought it was for the raft, and not the tree cutting, but either. But either way, it was around that time. Is it only um, wrapped up in the trustee of public funds? No, I don't control that. I guess not. Apparently, it's under the land trust's control right now. Vermont Land Trust? No, I think the t it's the, t the CD belongs to the town. I think so. <laughs> yeah. I think they, oh, okay. So then it must be Rod Buck and oh, those guys. It's called the Vanguard Fund. Oh, Vanguard. Okay. That sounds Yes, yeah, so you might check in with Rod Buck mm -hmm. and okay. see. I would say it would be weird to me if it was the Vermont Land Trust, but I wouldn't think they even want to do that. So, so uh, when you're in the financial summary, that five thousand is not included. That's, That's correct. correct. Okay. I didn't type it in there because it was really clear that we can't use it. Yeah. Just to yeah. Because then I was you're right, not right on there. confused about why it's only forty two related. Mm -hmm. They are unrelated. Okay. Any further questions, board members? I had a question. Um, mentioned, um, I think it was the last time around when you had to replace either the raft or the dock, you did some um, 
you weren't setting funds aside, and so you did some fundraising efforts, mm -hmm. which yielded some results, but then also you had to come to town and ask for some additional money got a, a loan. Um, and we raised the class fees at the time. And you raised yeah. the fees. So the fundraising efforts you did, how successful were they? Or is this something you could do on a regular basis to, to assist? So what we did was a raft in the um, Maple Corner 4th of July parade, mm -hmm. and we got people to donate some money, um, okay. and that we could try that again. That parade mm -hmm. has really diminished. I think it's pretty small now, and um, mm -hmm. so it's not out of the question, but that particular source, I, I doubt we would get what we got last time. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I was just curious. Yeah. No, so. it's a good question. Yeah, and, yeah, I wonder there's other fundraising things that you could do. We've also talked about um, in the dock construction, um, making that a community event that we would save money on mm -hmm. um, funds for building. Right. So there are families that would be willing to help. You had mentioned, and that's why I was asking the question, because you would mentioned that people with fond memories. Mm -hmm. It sounds like in the community there. There is. You hear people talk about when they were there might be some swimming at Curtis Pond. Mm -hmm. Emotional yeah. buy-in that you could tap into. Mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like that's what happens every year at town meeting with the, when it was an article. Mm -hmm. In my experience, it was always people very positive, mm -hmm. nobody, everyone excited to support it in that way. Right. No questions about. I mean, in the big picture of things, mm -hmm. this is a small amount of money, but yeah. when you start to add it all up, that's when we mm -hmm. get our little pencils out. Yeah. Is there any way that, that have you thought at all about um, somehow accommodating the kids whose parents do have both parents working mm -hmm. like what would be the wraparound that would allow those cows kids to be getting swim lessons yeah you'd have to have transportation and then that runs into the we talked about transportation last last year we ran a special session for yes, that it is. and it wasn't there was a lot of excitement but it was not well attended mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we we did one so rather than having like five days a week we did one saturday okay the, the after school hours are tricky because you could sometimes have 40 people swimming at that time of day and it's a hard time of day to turn the public around to say mm -hmm. you know we've got a group of kids right um so that we're, we're trying to put the hours that people are that we're doing the swimming outside of when people are pretty grumpy about asking them to mm -hmm. be right. out of the, if people don't want to go swim on the fishing side <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. yeah it's trick tricky balance mm -hmm. I'd certainly, be, I think we'd all be interested in other ways. Could we talk about that at every meeting? <laughs> How to meet those kids. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there's probably, you know, there's several kids that would maybe like to come, but they don't have a way to get there. The scholarship seemed to help with that because it was also, that was all you and Lisa thinking about that. And by offering the scholarship, it brought to some people's attention who might not have thought about it. Like, wow, here's something we could do that we've been invited to do. And then they figured out. The transportation piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe they can ride with somebody else's parent or. Yeah. No. Well, thank you, ladies. I mean, you guys do a great job. Yes, thank, thank you, you very program. much. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else you would like to share? I mean, I think the only follow-up question I had, just for clarity, was around the um, like the policies and the procedures mm -hmm. and the and like you guys approving that. And there was some confusion because Sharon, when you had been involved as an auditor, you right. had been like, okay, we'll put it on the website. But then a question had come up: Did you guys ever approve those? So, um, just wondering Good if question. I I don't need to worry about the history, but I'm just wondering: Do you guys do we need you guys to approve this for purposes of audit well, or I for think any other that purposes? Then we were even thinking about this. School. Swim committee is as separate. No, it was no. A, it was around the time that we were getting that consultation, um, right? And where we we did make some procedural changes at that time to. Well, let's make a note in the, the minutes, and I can mm -hmm. ask Jim if we should because you are covered by the town's insurance now. Yep. So um, it might have to be a select board policy, policy. that gets signed. So yeah. We'll, yeah, we just want that to kind of happen yep. in five more years, like reopen yep. that. Yep. Well, and, and I, one of the reasons that we we did that because I remember this part. Most of the sort of sub programs didn't have any kind of policies, and you guys were so well organized and relatively small scale, so it was a great place to start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and there you go. It's pretty pretty clear and succinct yep. and. 
that we've got through. Yeah, so we might be able to use yours as kind of a exactly. template. Exactly. <laughs> so well, it's think, worth doing for that. Yeah. And I think that we um, things evolve, and you've had some conversations with the treasurer and some different expectations mm -hmm. that are really that are actually ha going to have an impact on how we run the program. But like, like just making sure those are documented and right. um, and approved. Right, so because everything is they have more importance. Yeah, because everything is so much more under the yeah. scrutiny okay. with. Thing being audited and doing things correct, and we have all this new accounting right. stuff, and we have a whole mm -hmm. set of auditors now, you know, private auditing firm. So everybody's kind of getting more scrutiny than they used to, mm -hmm. just and for good reason. Well, it comes with good and bad, right? Right. Like mm -hmm. there's lots in there too. <laughs> right. Um, I think Katie put this in some correspondence, but uh, Craftsbury was another municipality that had its own swim program as a town so if you for some reason need to talk to Jim he was the one who referred us to Crossbury in the past and mm -hmm. it's, it's like a kind of comparable mm -hmm. if you need to look yeah because this I mean this isn't even this is it was revised in October of 18 um, policies and procedures and then it, it's like, kind of like a manual that first page is what is on the website currently this one on this the one? Yeah, yeah, that one on the website in 2013, at the time that it was. Did we sign anything then? We couldn't so. find evidence of that. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I don't ever remember signing anything for this. But but, she, but I think the auditors signed off on it, and at the time. And so because I have the email from you that says like uh, to Rolf, like go ahead and put it up on the website, and must be we did then. Felt like a. <laughs> Approval by the auditors, anyway. Yeah, there was this left board. No, I definitely remember working on this for, for the reasons yeah. we were saying. Yeah. So maybe we just need to update well, this and put in some put signature, signature lines, lines. And, and Katie can do that. Mm -hmm. Great. That makes it easy. Yeah. And you guys have, I mean, revised, so you have already reviewed it, and it's coming to mm -hmm. from the swim committee as a recommendation to the select board. Select board. Yeah. yeah. Do you think it would just be that first page, which is the page that's on the website? The additional pages are kind of detailed, and we use them almost as a manual, so that if someone needs to pop in one of our places, they have all the details of basically mm -hmm. how we run the whole thing. Do you think those pages would be included, or would it just be that initial? I don't know. I mean, it seems like this might be all part of your procedures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you should put the whole thing in. Yeah. Okay. I think so, too. You yeah. don't, then you don't lose it. Okay. And that would cover all the bases, and when we're using this as an example. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Would you like us to expect to attend when when it comes for in front of the select board, or should we're we just here, here anyway? Well, you're here yes. anyway. Okay. <laughs> yes, Katie, <laughs> <Yes, Kate, laughs> <you laughs> to attend. Thank you, Dylan. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Was it helpful? Yeah. I mean, this kind of stuff I already. You already know. Yeah. All right. But thank you for asking. I appreciate yeah. it. All right. Thanks. Bye, Good night. Okay, you can just let me know when you're ready. Mm -hmm. We'll put it on the agenda. Okay. All righty then. Madam Lister, is anybody else joining you? No. You told me that. You're a Lister now. Okay. She's got her Lister hat. I never know what hat you're wearing. It's Lister tonight. Are we doing the CA tonight too? Um. Even if they don't show up, we can still have a brief discussion. Right. <laughs> Since the planning commission appoints, a, uh, no, yeah, yeah, the planning, appoints. no, the planning commission recommends, recommends to the select board the appointment of a ZA. So I, on that, I've got a planning hat a little bit for ZA, <laughs> but this is Lister yeah, for now. Okay. This is Lister right now. So Lister, what do you want to know? What do you want to know? So there's three of you. I was just looking to see where we are. I'm still getting used to this Nemric stuff. Listers. So yeah, we, we're, we're about on target for our salary budget. Yeah, we have Lister wages budgeted for FY19 at 12,000. Mm -hmm. We've been three months. And you spent 30, 3860 so far. I mine says 2510 as of 9:30. I just we just did some checks tonight in the warrants. Okay. Well, so I'm going with what Sandy sent me. 
last week. Yeah, well, I think since then there's been some new checks, I think. So it looks like the remaining balance is 8,140. 8, mm -hmm. Then we have the tax maps. What's this digitizing the survey map stuff? Do you know, Jan? It's probably digitizing all the surveys that are in the vault. There was no money in that budget. For yeah. this year. For this year, right. I, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't involved in that part of it. Um, I do know that the last, the most current 10 surveys have not been digitized, and I guess that's why, because there's no budget. Yeah, I don't know how we paid for it. I, well, my I don't know what what I was told is that uh, there we I'm sorry to interrupt you. We did pay for some digitizing of maps. Maps. Okay, so that's, right. our, that's what you were saying. Yeah. Maps and surveys are two different things. Right. No, we we did do some. I think it was um, at John or Dot's request. We did some. Robin did it. Right. Yeah, yeah, Robin did it. They right. took all the surveys that are in there, took them apart, took them down to some company uh, in Burlington. Right. And they are very helpful to have because then we can just go online mm -hmm. and bring, bring them up. Yeah. Um, but I know that there's 10 new surveys that are not digitized. Okay. And in fact, How much? we almost didn't know that we had 10 new surveys, which was kind of... How much does it cost to do the, the maps? Roughly, do you have any idea? The, sur the digitization? I don't know. I, I didn't. I wasn't part of the digitization of the survey maps. No, of the okay. surveys. That's out of your realm. I didn't. Yeah, I would like. So I, I guess it's on our. It's on as a lister. I, I find that interesting. Um, but anyway. Where else would it be? I don't know. Actually, it's it's or a requirement. Is it zoning. It's a requirement. Well, it is a requirement in planning for for subdivisions. So it's you mean the maps? Yeah, the, it's a requirement. Yeah, that that the person that is asking for a permit for subdivision are supposed to provide a survey, a, a related survey. So I'm I'm not sure. An electronic survey or is it hard copy? It's all hard copy, and we're going to ask for it to be in. We, we're talking about having it also be in a. Um, Digital electronic digital electronic format, yeah. uh, format so that you that would save you. right but um and i guess some towns are doing it that way right. now there's going to be other maps and surveys though besides those yeah um like what any private landowner can choose to have a survey done and recorded right and, and you would, would want those digitized as well right can we ask for did you have it in hard copy and electronic? When when a I guess when an application comes in or when something comes up like Sharon suggesting, yeah, we have to. We have, we have to make it part of our zoning regs because that's all part of the process of right. how you do a permit. But in terms of what Sharon's talking about, we have nothing. I mean, if if, if as a private landowner mm -hmm. just wants to have their land surveyed and wants to have it recorded mm -hmm. in the land record. And they they come here and do that. We have no control. But I wonder if when somebody does that and wants it recorded, I wonder would that be a I'm I'm asking because I don't know. Would that be something the Secretary of State's office would have to say is okay to no request? It just comes here and it, it, no, 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 you're not you're not hearing me. No. If somebody a private landowner comes in, I want this recorded in the land records. Here's a hard copy of the survey. <laughs> Can we <coughs> as a town? Do we have any authority to also request a digital copy? Do we have the authority to require it? That's the question. That's I a general question. Okay. Yeah, what gets recorded and what the rules are. Is that, it sounds like it might be something the Secretary of State's office would have to do if it's part of the public records and all that. I'm just thinking out loud a little bit. That's I don't all. know. I, I, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, I don't know who actually. <laughs> Well, I, know, I, thing. Well, I know one time several years ago, Dot came to us and wanted to make sure that we put some money aside to do some mapping. Mm -hmm. but that's, a, that's the line above that, the tax map revisions. That's that, okay. That's the parcel okay. mapping. So is that about what we should be looking at every year? Um, I, I, 
Yeah, 1200 It might go up to 1500 but um, we, we're part of this. I'm still trying to figure out, being part of the state parcel mapping thing this year, mm -hmm. what the state is doing and what R.J. Turner is doing that we're paying. Now, Christine came and spent a whole day with us that one week. Uh, a couple weeks ago, she works with R.J. Turner. Oh, okay. Um, and we went through all of the changes for this year's, from, for the 2018 um, and the 2017, and a few other discrepancies that we have. Um, she spent six hours working with us. It was really good to have her here mm -hmm. because I think she, you know, you work, you get the deeds, you have to read the deeds, mm -hmm. um, you have to, if there's a survey, find a survey. Um, so you are getting our personal maps um, accurate is is actually pretty good. And if you're part of the state, you can only have a 0.1 percent discrepancy in your whatever it is. I, there's some kind of mark that you know, mm -hmm. um, and we're we're almost there. So I mean, we're we're in pretty good shape. When after being at a meeting and hearing Worcester who <laughs> didn't have a parcel map, I think we're in very good shape. Oh, so. Um, you know, I, I've, um, it, Christine sent me an email today um, on this parcel mapping, mm -hmm. the parcel mapping, and I asked her, I said we had 1200 in the budget um, so for this year, mm -hmm. and I didn't know for sure if that would be the same thing for next year, but I would say, I would assume that it would be. 1200 you think it would be? Yeah, it might be 15, but I think it would be, we're pretty well on target. Okay. And the wages, you're, what are we paying you guys, 20? Uh, 20 an hour? Huh? Are we paying you 20 an hour? We're paying 20 an hour. Okay. I think you can keep and, it that. Yeah, and right now we're in pretty good shape if you look at what was budgeted and what's been paid out and what's left. Right. Now, we our, 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 our biggest amount of time is in March and April. Although we did start doing inspections this past week, or the week before. We're trying to do a little earlier on inspections so we don't have to go through mud season. But Good idea. Um, we know we're gonna end up. So we probably spend a lot more time in March and April to get the close out mm -hmm. of the year. But I think we're, we'll be close. Um, and I would probably, I guess, keep it at that. Uh, I, I, I can't see. Okay. Um, Going up on it. That's the wages you're talking about. Yeah, the twelve thousand. Yeah, the salaries and the wages. Twelve yeah. thousand. Um, and then lister expenses. What's that? Just like training? Uh, no. Um, we get reimbursed for training. The expenses are the Marshall and Swift program software, which is put into our. Uh, so this is software. This is it, yeah. Both of these expenses, according to Sandra, were um, software. Um, one is the Apex sketch, sketching software that's in Cama, and the other one is um, Marshall and Swift cost tables, which is an annual update from Nemric. So this Lister expense is software. Pretty much, it's software. So where does the reimbursement for training come out of? Um, PBR reimburses us. Oh, PB oh, the town doesn't. Right. Oh. Okay. My, my understanding, if that still works. I mean, they have that training, and so when we apply, mm -hmm. then then something comes back to the state, and I, I've. I, but you don't pay it out of your pocket. No. Okay. But I, you're you're right. I'm not sure where it was, and that's probably a Sandra Sandy Sandra question because. I'm sh I think they get we get reimbursed everything, but. Um, okay, I'm just gonna make a note. List your training expenses. Ask about that because I know. There's there's question there's sessions from PBR. Mm -hmm. What is PBR? Property evaluation and, and PBR reporting from the taxing. They do most of the official lister training, and you sign up. Uh, and that's probably the most one that that we we use. Uh, and you Nem do Nemric also provides training, which is we do try to go to one or two mm -hmm. Nemric sessions. And that's okay. usually 50 bucks, I think. But we, I don't think yeah. we get reimbursed on that, so I don't know where that is. Yeah, well, I'm just making a note. We can ask Sandra. Ask Sandra, yeah, yeah. because it should be, yeah. it, there should be something there. Unless, I think Donna, in times past, put it under, edu under education. 
I think in right. The well, see now the way Nemeric does things now, we can have each right, each and I thing think itemized, which I think is great. Right. So I think that something has to be pulled out uh -huh. of what was in the old education. Yeah, because we just usually have one right line item, and that's where Donna put it before. So sh there might have to be a cross reference. So because yeah. I know there is Lister education somewhere in there, especially with Nemeric. Well, let's see what. Even if you do a well, webinar, the select board one has. A thousand in this right. year's current budget for education and training. So maybe it was coming out of there. Well, that's what we're going. That's what we need to find out. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, even webinars are twenty-five bucks with memory. I mean, really, you know, I have to sit and, well, anyway. But I know they have to put on. I guess yeah. put for, there's. <laughs> what so, 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 so yeah. So, so I would. I would. I would we'll certainly ask, ask about that. Um, I, I think we're pretty well on, you know, I think we can keep it the way. Mm -hmm. Now, the only thing to, to put on the, and I think you, you talked about this, Denise, um, a little bit, is starting in possibly 2020, yeah. you're going to have to look at if, in fact, uh, you're going to keep on having blisters, volunteers that are paid, or whether you're going to go with a professional. If, right. If whoever, John or I, or quit. <laughs> right. Um, then, you know, if you can't find anybody, if we can't find anybody to train and do this, uh, right. then you may have to hire a... Uh, well, and the reason I'm thinking about it now is because we're budgeting for F-2020. Mm -hmm. We're going to be in 2019. So if we're going to look to maybe be thinking about hiring an assessor, we have to be thinking about it now because we might want to put an article on the warning for this town meeting. Um, we don't have to do we don't have to do a charter change. I've already checked that. We just need to put an article on the warning. So that's why I was asking you. You know, as far as I know, you know all three of us are here through 2020. Calendar 2020 or FY 2020. Well, your FY 2020 is is from July 2019 to June 2020, right? right? right. As far as I know, we're all, we're all set. Okay. But I think it's starting with July of 2020, 20, of of which will be your fiscal year 21. Right. That uh, you might be. You might want to start right. considering it. Right, and that's why I'm thinking we need to put something on the town meeting warning this year to have a discussion or to. To, to say that, and I don't know, we're going to have to look at how we word this, but to give the select board authority to hire an assessor if, if, we, we, if, we, if, we, are, if, we, if we aren't able to. It could be an extension we might all of a sudden. Right. You know, so I think we right. just need to Yeah, get, some of us drop down sick or something. Yeah. We can't do the job. Well, and that's why we'll, we'll get yeah. Jim to help us with the language for that article, but I think we need to be thinking about it now rather than getting caught later on not prepared. Do we need do we need authority to solve a problem we have if in the middle of a budget year? You might have to, if you might have to have a special town meeting. Just to hire an assessor? If we yeah, well if it's a warned if it's a warned item, you can't if we if we would have in my way of thinking is if you have to warn it for town approval mm -hmm. at town meeting if something happened midterm You'd still have to probably have a special town meeting with that maybe one right. one warned item. I guess I just rather would. Just get the yeah. authority. No, if we use it, we use it. Well, use it if not, even if closet. even if you don't, it creates the discussion that you want to have. Right. 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 Which is a good thing. Hey, and yeah, and the discussion might lead somebody who'll say, "Hey, I'd be interested in trying it." You just right. never know. I mean. Right. I mean, and it takes. Time. I mean, look at how long. You, which <laughs> the stuff you guys know is amazing. Yeah, but it. it Ed was right. right. It, it, yeah. it takes it takes you three years to do the job before you know what questions to ask. Yeah. <coughs> and so the really the training is three years. Well, and Wilson's been at it for what a year now. He's been at it for a year. We each have our specialties. Yeah. So it's it's <laughs> you know. <laughs> but there are certain things these guys do not like to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. Um, you get out your. Yeah, yeah, but you know. Um, Wilson's really interested in, in monitoring the sales, and we need that. Uh -huh. And 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 Good. John's um, interested in a lot of the detail and and the maps, the maps and things like that. Okay, this is helpful. So.
Anything else on the list of stuff, folks? I might like to know if you are just interested. Uh, we, we're up to date on our property transfers, actually, other than yeah, what yeah. Judy put in today. Um, but, um, and we were really tracking pretty on target with our value and what was going on until there were two sales at Lake on Lake property. Oh, no. And they are so much higher than what we had valued. Which lake? Relates. Both one, number 10 and Curtis. Oh, number 10? Yeah. Eddie Walbridges oh. sold, and yeah. it sold almost I mean, there's 80, 80 grand more higher than our value. Wow. And Victoria King's place sold 100 grand higher than our value. Whoa. So how does that Ugh. kick our... It's going to make our CLA go down. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we just barely got it so that... I mean, you know, it's going to go down a little bit. We, we've, we've, we've been managing to keep it pretty good. Right. And we saw those. That's so thought, hard to... Damn, do. you know. Right. I'm sorry. Where did Victoria sell so. hmm. recently? Uh, a couple of months ago. Huh? Yeah, because I walk my dog down Gar Road in, the, in Arlen. Yeah, and uh, she bought Eddie's. Right. Yeah. And they're starting to do some work on it. and It's nice to see it being used, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, it is, but it it's was nice not. We, I mean, she added the deck and stuff, and so we, were, we think we were on target. I don't know why somebody spent as much as they did for it, but anyway, they did, so. Maybe there was a bidding war. Could have been. Mm -hmm. um, it's a nice spot, and there's not much spots on Number Ten Pond, really, because mm -hmm. most of the land isn't accessible. Wait, so Victoria's on Curtis. Right. No, I'm talking yeah. about yeah. Eddie's. Eddie's, yeah. 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 So Eddie's sold. That hasn't gotten resold. It's just Eddie. And Eddie's Eddie. sold. Yeah. Our yeah. 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 But I mean, he paid a higher price than what yeah. we had valued at. So. All right. Well, thank you. Um, Thank you. With your lister hat on, do you want to? Yeah. Do, do, do you, you have wanna, any do you questions? Do you put your planning commission hat on? <laughs> we did that, right? We did the we budget did that last, last week. Time. Yeah. Right. No, I'm just talking about zoning. Yeah. Zoning. Um, I mean, I know. I think, yeah. I, I've heard from both John and Dorothy that, you know, they're not going to want to do this forever. And we need to be thinking about them not wanting to do this forever. So, um, I did put out some feelers to, um, I ran into Michael Gray from Woodbury. They just hired a new zoning administrator. Um, well, it doesn't hurt to ask, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I was at a meeting and met the, um, the Montpelier zoning administrator lives in Worcester. And, she, and we had a little talk, and, and the discussion was sometimes it's better to have a zoning administrator who doesn't live in the town. Right. Because when it comes to enforcement it's hard of issues, it's, it's hard when you're trying to enforce something on somebody that you know. Right. Whereas you can, if you don't live here, and here's the rules, and you have to follow it, right. and a person can, and, it, and so um, there's, I think, uh, um, that's that. But John has mentioned it at least three times at planning commission meeting. And we haven't mentioned what that he was Doesn't getting tired and really didn't want. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I and the asking. the state requirements oh, yeah. there's getting new requirements that um, you 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 have to try to remember everything to tell an applicant. Mm -hmm. You got to go to the state for all of these things, you know. And mm -hmm. some if you if you just forget, you forget. And uh, and so he's tired, I think. Well, it's, it's, one, it's another one of these things where there's more and more requirements yeah. for volunteers so, to do. And yeah, and he's mentioned it three times. We've not, we've not put it on and discussed it and said, okay, if you don't want to do this anymore, can you give us you know, several months so that we can find somebody in the interim? Mm -hmm. And then that would be, okay, do we try to hire somebody from right. out? Or do we get somebody from in? And so those are just some things that I've been um, thinking about. Well, and John's mentioned it to us that he doesn't oh, want to yeah. do yeah. ZA forever. When we when we hired him, yeah. when we, we hired him, what, yeah, yeah. When we kind of yeah. talked him into doing it. it. Was like, okay, I'll do it for a year, and it's yeah. been what three, or three years. It's been three at least. Yeah. 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 Um, and you know, and Dot's been helping out by yeah. doing the the paperwork part of it for the DRB stuff and oh, notices and stuff. So they've, they've shared it and that's worked well. 
because they both didn't really want to not do it, mm -hmm. but they didn't want to do all of it. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. They both really value it. Yeah, right. and and you know we pay them five hundred dollars a month, which they share or something like that, four hundred or five hundred, and they share it, so they're not getting that much money. So that's another thing that budget-wise, at some point, we're going to need to be thinking about. We're not going to get out of this cheap anymore. So your conversation with Michael Gray, you mentioned he's the chair of Select Board Blueberry. Right, and he gave me the phone. He put me in contact with Bill. What's his name? Bill. Bill, the name, last name I can't remember. He's the new ZA. He's the new ZA. And that's a part-time job up there, I'm guessing? Yeah. So I wanted to talk to the board about going yeah. ahead and contacting this yeah, person and to start to do some legwork on it. Mm -hmm. But I want to do a connection with the Planning Commission because they have to they recommend, interview. right, they have to recommend to the select board. We can still interview, but they do the first. Right, that's right. So I think Jan and I can maybe make a first attempt at contact mm -hmm. and see. Or see if Marshfield has, I don't know. Right, Marshfield just, just some poking around and see what we come up with, yeah. if that works for you guys. Yeah. And it's, anyway, it's on the table. Right. Think about. So it. anyways, we're, right now we have 4,800. I'm thinking that probably by the end of FY19, which is the end of June, maybe we'll have some you know, some leads and so forth. So we might want to think about when we're doing budgeting, you know, we might have to increase the slime item, the wages. To find out what they have paid. Yeah, so we got some time between now and the time we have to finalize this budget. When does this have to be finalized? Um, like beginning of January. <coughs> Mid to beginning of January, the select board has to have a budget Wonder. finalized. Because it has to go to the printer. It has to go to the printer. We have to give Laura Philbach is doing the design, even though she's in really? she Colorado. Maybe mm -hmm. Cincinnati. 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 Somewhere. She's from Cleveland. Cleveland. Town Cleveland. 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 One of those. Yeah. Yeah. How did you figure that one out? Um, I forget who it was that in the office contacted her and said, "We know you're not here anymore, but she's the one who had been doing it." Yeah. yeah. Um, she have a business that she does this. And share just 25 bucks a month. Wow. Awesome. She's, well, and she's computer <coughs> literate. I mean, she, right. I mean, she used to do yeah. it. She's and then last there. year, we had <coughs> Repro, um, yes, doing it. And it didn't come out as nice as it used to. Mm -hmm. So anyways, the office staff, I think between Judy and Sandra and Barbara, they contacted her, and she said yes. Mm -hmm. so that's good news. Well, there's still taxpayers here, so it's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anything else on zoning, Jan? You want to bring up? But the Philbox didn't sell their house. Yeah. They're renting it, aren't they? They rent it. Oh, I yeah. they sold it. So I've seen it for on I saw it on the front porch forum, and um, they were renting it. And no, I don't have anything else. I just was. I don't know. I had something niggling on my mind, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, I yeah, I was thinking about if maybe. Do you think? Regional planning has any information on zoning, administrating wage, wages? Probably not, huh? No, the, league could, might, the league might. The league might, or we yeah. could ask. Yeah. We can look at other towns' budgets if they have them online. Uh, if, their town, uh, if their town reports are online, we can yeah. look at their budget yeah. and get some figures. Yeah, yeah that would be an idea. Yeah, yeah. To find yeah. Out. yeah that's good. Yeah. Just to find out how how far if there's any. Right difference between them. Well, yeah. and so the, yeah, because yeah, the question for the instance, just in general, is, you know, how many hours are you doing it right. now? Are you interested yeah. in doing Maybe more? Maybe they're paid hourly. I don't right. know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, phone call with clerks and they'll give you that. Yeah. yeah. So anyways, we just need to start, I think we just, it's one of these other things that we need to start thinking about. Yeah. Because yeah. people are getting tired. We're right. overdue. Yeah. We're okay. out of time. All right, thanks, Jan. Okay. Anything thanks, else, Jan? Yeah. The reason Thank why you. I was going raw is because I got a notice that the Democratic senator in Arizona won. Oh, was there, was a, re re was there a recount? There wasn't a recount there, but not in Arizona. They just said they announced the Democrat won. Oh, well, that was a close what's, one. What's the one in no. Florida? Is yeah. there oh, a they're recounting. The They'll, They'll be counting forever. Votes recounted. Eight million? million? They invented mm -hmm. recounts. Oh, yeah. yeah, they went right. to court. The court said, <laughs> no, you checks. can't. He tried to the uh, yeah. yeah. They tried to lock down the votes so they wouldn't be counted. Yeah. 
Right. When did they, like, did they find they a whole bunch this of this voter fraud. Did they find a whole bunch of yeah, like, there's no ballots. evidence of voter fraud? Yeah, yeah. ballots yeah. that were they found even ballots in a school closet. Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Good night. I'll be Good night. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. When I remember that guy's last name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have it written down at home. I realized I forgot to All right. See you later. Good night. She's great. She's great. She does a lot for the town. She, and she's getting tired of and she hasn't been here that long. She is? Oh no, I was about to say she's so awesome on that. Right? Isn't she relatively? She's a newbie. Yeah. She's relatively. But she's jumped right in. Yeah, she's great. She hasn't let that stop her. Because one of the things that I've talked to Jan about, and I think maybe we talked about when planning was here, I think we need to take our town plan, maybe our zoning, and get somebody professional to look at it. I mean, it's like 80 something pages long, the town plan. Is there a way to combine some things so that it isn't yeah. so long? Because when you're the planning commission and you're working on it, you keep adding. Right, is that, well, it's, it's, there's something in there for everybody, I'm sure. Right. That's probably what it is. Mm -hmm. Right. So but I these just plans wonder, are taken on, they, you know, like so many things, like this office, these plans function differently than they did even oh, 25 years ago. Yeah. They become regulatory documents, mm -hmm. and they're in the right. Public Utility Commission, mm -hmm. and then the Act yeah, of 50 the Forum, and, not the zoning. And, you know, and there's case law that's that's evolved, and it's it's required these plans to do things a lot diff differently than it originally anticipated. Well, in a conversation so, I had with Jan, apparently there's, um, I don't know if it's through, C it might be through C CBRPC, that they have a list of um, people that, I don't know what you call them, people that would go through it and make recommendations and be willing to work on condensing things. Yeah. So at some point we're gonna have to start planning some money for that as well. And you're gonna be doing something with them pretty soon, right? I think so. Yeah, so that's gonna be helpful. Katie's got an interest in condensing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're typing it. Yeah. So anyways, that's just something to put out there too, that at some point, you know, to make the document usable and readable, it might be good to get a professional to kind of look at it and take a hold. You gonna say something? No, I, I agree, but, and, I'm, and I'm going to, well that's, you know, that's something a good editor would do. And then I think, but you don't want a good editor who has no knowledge of the law. Right, right. No, it's got to yeah. be somebody who knows. Really knows. It's got to be somebody who knows why this is in mm. there. Yeah. Um, ideally, it's somebody who, as they're doing it and condensing it, could actually annotate back to the statute. Mm -hmm. So you know, yeah. this paragraph is word for word from the statute, and you don't mess with it. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it is. It is the law. It is, or you, you just need to put those discussions mm -hmm. in bed about how this could be better worded. Mm -hmm. For sure it could be, but... <laughs> well, and that's, and that's something we need somebody, a professional, to do, and I know well, we don't want the thing is actually wordier than it needs it's to be. Right. Maybe I mean, it's, it, it maybe might it's be fine. concise, given all, you know, the breadth that this thing needs to cover these days. So. Yeah, it's, uh, and I think yeah. that's what we need, and it's when you're the planning commission looking at it, it's like, where do you start? You know, it's like this... One of the things that I'm reminded of, Denise, is the conversation we had sometime over the past, I don't know how long, about the opportunity we have because we are a graying state, okay. a graying state and graying town. Yeah. Like, okay, so a couple of people come to mind who I won't name, name today who are, um, I'm here, are getting close to retirement. So, so, you know, though that there are people like that all the time with skills and knowledge that if we can yeah, if we can tap into that, that would be great. You know, maybe it's an opportunity, right? Yeah. Our conversation was where we were saying it's an opportunity. Yeah, it is an opportunity. So if that's what they want to do in retirement. Mm. There are many versions of retirement. <laughs> yeah, there's mine. Is yours where you work more hours. Yep. Than when you to stay. But you make That's less money. So, or, so she just doesn't have to drive to Montpelier. Right. Right. I don't have to get up early. I don't have to drive to Montpelier in the crappy weather. That's right. Right. There's the consolation. There's a consolation. That's the booby prize. You get the more or less color hours. 
Yeah, Saturday, Sunday is holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Today's a holiday world. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay, and I'm just saying now our CVPRC dues are going up from, I just got a letter. Remember, it is so worth it. They're worth They're every Awesome. Day. We have a really good regional planning. Amazing. Really good man. Regional planning mission. Yeah. So, anyways, that's that discussion. Um, Do you know what they're going up to? Yeah, they're going up to 19, 28, and 40 cents. That's 1,928. Right. Per year. That's it. Yep. Yep, that's kind of how they favor stuff. And they, they get a lot of grants. They get a lot of that's only like grants, federal. A thousand ten dollars. No. Well, it's currently it's what, no a hundred, a hundred and ten dollars. Huh? What are you looking at? Budget at the last year. It's increased by hundred and ten dollars. Is it? Yep, it was eighteen fifteen, and now it's going to nineteen twenty eight. Yeah, it's a it's a dollar twenty. It should be five thousand. It's a dollar twenty per capita. Amazing. Eighteen twenty eight. Nineteen twenty eight minus eighteen sixteen. Sixteen. It's minimal. Right, right? CVRPC. And um, Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District. That's not going up. I don't know about VLCT yet. It's six percent. The other one. Just FYI. Mm -hmm. Say what? Six percent. Mm -hmm. It's small dollars, but it's six percent. You mean CVRPC? Yeah. Which you know it catches up with you when you get six percent earlier. Right. Well, I know see, um, some remote cell waste management is not going up. Um, I don't know about the LCT. We don't mm -hmm. have the county tax thing yet. That always comes. What's the late cost this year? This says budgeted in FY nineteen twenty eight seventy two. Where are all those numbers? They're on this. Yeah, which page? This three. This is three. Oh, one. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's see here. Okay, so, all right, and we don't know. I'm kind of leading into the next agenda item, which is kind of, at some point, we're going to have to have one of our meetings when we get into, like, maybe the first meeting in January, we're going to have to just devote a meeting to a budget kind of working session with nothing else pretty much on the agenda because we're going to have to sharpen our pencils because everybody wants more money, and they're not wrong. You know, everything costs more. Everybody wants to do more. We got all these other things, so we're really going to have to be looking at the bottom line. We don't know how much our school taxes are going to go up, but I think at some point we have to. There's not a lot we can do about that. You know, we've tried over the years to do that, but with Act 46, it's going to be out of our control. I was very shocked at what the Dairy Fire Department requested. Yeah, that was a lot. That was huge. But I think that yeah, they, they want knew a building. That. They want a million dollar building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think at some it's down the road, but some point, you know, two million dollar buildings bounding us. We've talked about it before that you know we have two fire departments. You brought this up before. I know. And you know it's it's a huge expense to have two, it really is. I think we're the only town that I know. Of. There, we're the only town I know of. That has two. That has two. That's served by two. Right. Is that is that um, is that tradition or is it? I think it is. It's tradition. And is the is the tradition does the tradition in Callis, you know, whether you go to Montpelier or you go Hardwick, let's say, is For that? What? Whatever, gas groceries. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't following what you meant. Sorry. It is, is that tradition embedded with some geographic basis, like the division of the Green Mountains down the state of Vermont meant 
you know, historically that the east side and the west side mm -hmm. were pretty separated in their different cultures. You, you different know. cultures, but but with a geographic, with a geographic and topographical reason for it. So so bottom line is, do we have? Is it an access problem if we were it, to? It started you know, out. If we were to. Nineteen sixty, the Woodbury Fire Department was formed. Sixty or sixty. Brady Neal, Bud Batchelder, and a few others. And, um, and I don't know when, when the East Montpelier Fire Department. No, 64. 64. 64. So we right were around the same time. Yeah, around the same time. And there was no mutual aid back then. Right. So, you know, those guys up there, they formed, Callis didn't form a fire department. So they kind of said, well, we'll help you out, but you got to help us pay our bills. Right. And then, so did East Montpelier. Mm -hmm. And they only had little couple crummy little trucks they didn't have much so it made sense and it didn't cost much and it made sense but now we got these high-tech go fast four-wheel drive pump everything trucks mm -hmm. that do amazing things and houses last I knew still burned the exact same way you know they go on fire they still go up they still burn the same rate maybe worse well for but, most of us getting a fire department to our house in time before it right. goes to the ground, right. no matter which fire department yeah. it is, it's probably not going to happen. Yeah, usually save it. What we used to say, save another. Because somebody said, what about Worcester Fire Department? You know, there's right. Maple Corner people. You know, who's and because of mutual aid, if that goes out, they have to respond. Correct? Mm -hmm. Worcester Wood or Montpelier well, so, Wood. So this is the thing. This is what happened. So we got hooked into two fire departments before there's mutual aid. At the point in time mutual aid began, I think that was the time for the hard conversation. And how long ago was that? A long time. It was in 1970s. the 1970s. The mutual it aid actually happened event. after Rick Barstow's house caught fire because Montpelier came and helped. And uh, then they had a conversation anyway. Now, mutual aid, you don't have to pay, right? No, mutual aid is oh, yeah. part of the Capital Fire Capital Mutual Aid yeah. District. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you, know, you have your fire department. We, if Cal's had its fire, we'd have our fire department. Mm -hmm. And if my house caught fire, Cal's would be the first responder. And then the, the fire companies on either side of us most likely would send at least a truck just to back us up, mm -hmm. at least to move water. And, you know, and if this thing was really going for it and they are trying to save, maybe the barn's burning or trying to save the house, they'd call in more help. And in Worcester and Montpelier and Marshfield mm -hmm. and, and so that's what they would do. But I, I don't think we're unique in Vermont I, in terms of our needs. I think there are always going to be towns. I mean, every town has a part of town that's further from the fire department mm -hmm. than another part. Right. And they don't say, okay, let's. Waterbury doesn't say, okay, we have a fire department in our town, but you know, the other side of town by Middlesex. They don't hire, they don't pay the Middlesex Fire right. Department, and they don't pay the Richmond Fire Department. That we are in this if, unique thing, and I think it's, to me, it's like, we need to have a real conversation about this. That's right. That's and and they've become very dependent. Woodbury's become very dependent on us. East Montpelier's East dependent on us, and that's how it's worked out. But I think we got a fish and cut bait. I think we got to pick one. And that's why I keep saying it. If you thought about merger, and it's yeah, like, right Toby here. always chimes in, very impossible! You know, I'm trying to figure out a way yeah, to, to right. make it less painful, but well, I think this, this conversation is long overdue. And, and I keep what, bringing it up. How's the best way to, no, and I, and we have brought it up over the years and we've gotten shot down. Mm -hmm. Just the looks alone from mm -hmm. fire department people is like. We had a fire department, no, right. used to not clear. But now we've bought a building. Right. So I don't see us, we're obligated down to Right, but do we want to, they're going to be coming to us to get money for the building from Woodbury. We know that. And that might be when we say, you know, we don't want to be part owners of another building. We can't afford it. Mm -hmm. What happens if Callis is not part of Woodbury? Is there still Woodbury Fire Department? There's no difference. That's the whole thing. There's no difference if Well, we, monetarily, I think you're getting at that, right? My question is, right. is, can they afford or are... Well, uh, what happens to their fire department? I don't know. They well, respond to more calls in Calais than they do in Woodbury. Right. My question, though, is if they don't have the revenue from Calais, mm -hmm. is can they sustain 
a fire department so that up? we can assume which mutual aid means they'll be there. Mm -hmm. Probably not. No, no. Not, with the, yeah. not with the equipment that they use these days. I mean, if you look at our fire and ambulance budget, and in the East Mount Pillar now, you know, they got the EMTs, that costs us more money, you know, because there's salaries and stuff. So it's just, it's just growing and growing and growing. And I, I predict at some point, He's not Pillar is going to want to be a paid, or going to need yeah. to be a oh, yeah. paid, a paid fire department. That's going to cost us even set more. Up for that. Oh, everything's going to cost more. Got the bunk room; it's all ready to go. But if you look it's at our bottom line, what we budgeted for FY19 for fire and ambulance, one hundred eighty-one thousand six hundred and sixty-nine dollars. That's per year. Yeah, that's this year's budget. Insane. That's a lot of money. You could actually put that money in, into an account and just buy people houses every time they burn. It'd be cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> well, your house burned down here. That's a really one. good idea. That includes yeah. ambulance, though. No. That's, oh, it's ambulance, too. <laughs> and then 17, 17, 8, 50. So we are spending 48000 Oh, my calculator starting to do funky things. Uh oh, battery time. You want the... It's, what it's, the total that we're it's forty eight three hundred something. And then they're coming to us wanting what was it, forty thousand? We pay seventeen thousand eight twenty. Right. Right and now for their additional. for their truck replacement fund. And they're going to ask for forty-eight. So for the next six years, it's a forty plus the seventeen. So it's like fifty-seven thousand eight twenty. So for six years, and then. But if you take the total, yeah, Woodbury. Yeah, and that's that operating it's budget. To, it were, it's up to eighty-eight thousand yeah. three hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, this is one of these topics that people will be passionate. Okay. You know, and it's interesting, you know, when schools, I mean, this is a lot like the school conversation. <coughs> it's an essential service. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a very expensive one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's having a huge impact on our property taxes. And, you know, I so mean, people 80, are talking about getting rid of schools. I mean, $88,000 you know? in our budget is a big amount. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's a big amount of money. It is the, it is the. It's the standard of living that we have now that we didn't That's have right. in the fifties before. You know, there is an right. expectation that when you call the fire department, that it, there will be. That's right. Well, insurance companies do expect right. that too. Yeah. But most of us in Calus, wh whichever fire department we're served by, don't live within the radius that the insurance companies give what is you. That a radius? Radius? I think it's like five miles. Okay. Either, I don't know. I don't. No matter which fire department we pick, even if it's Worcester. I don't even it's, think I do. It's not, no, you won't. Not me. You would be East Mount Pillar. You don't. Mm -hmm. Actually, Maybe I'm really close because we have the station on Templeton Road. Mm -hmm. So from my house to Advent Village and Center Road to Templeton Road, it's just around three miles. I bet I'm right about the five oh, mile mark. Right yeah. yeah. But from East Mount Pillar. Right. Right about five miles. Right. Well, if you're three. Because they count it. I am. Yeah. It's five miles. Um, oh, it's going to be ten. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, it's just, I mean, we this has come up before um, when there was other select board members. Rose will remember, John will remember. It's been a touchy subject, really, and a tough subject because... Is this one of those where, well, I'll save my question until we go through with the fine tooth. Yep. Good idea. Um, So can I, can you guys, if we can get this electronically put in a folder, can you start looking at this, the budget, and just, mm -hmm. you know, have in your mind some thoughts and, you know, where can we look to make some changes or... And are we putting in here, is, 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 are we populating as the requests come in? Well, I've been kind of writing on this one. Mm -hmm. Manually. Okay. Yeah. Yes, so I bet, yeah, on yours. Okay, yeah. is it possible that we could get it, the electronic version updated so we're all working from the same memory or notes? Yeah. What I, what Sandra has requested is for me to do it on here. 
Yeah. She will then update the electronic copy, mm -hmm. and at some point, she's going to have to let us have an electronic copy. If, yeah, so she's going to update an updated proposed, like right. tonight we heard 2,700 from the swim committee. Right. Get that number in here. Yep, that's what I've got. Perfect. Yep. And then, yeah. Because, you know, electronically, you can go through and you can, it'll add it up for you instead of right. doing what we're doing tonight. All right. Um, credit card policy. Are you able to print? Is Katie able to print now? Katie, you had a question on that. Oh, you did? A question on, there was some word that you couldn't interpret and your email was like, it was just the word, so I didn't. On the, I'm sorry, oh, on. Never mind. On the credit card policy? On the credit card policy. I know it happened oh. through the email though. When you make a change, then it, yeah, yeah. or you ask a question, all you get is the question in the email with like no context. Oh, Katie's question it. was, it might have come to me because I'm the name on the, I'm the drafter on that policy. No, I wouldn't. On the credit card po policy? Oh, right. You're, so I don't know why I got it. Maybe we all did. But well, we did this last time, right? Right. And we all, all we agreed that we were going to. Right, right, right. No, yes, just one Katie was going to make I some. I updated all of the changes. Let's see. And we were going to print it off and sign it tonight. Right? I remember. Just waiting for mine to load. Are there any comments? I thought there was. It was like, what does what does Kato mean? Or Kato? Well, I want to get rid of that first page. Yeah, I want to delete the first page. Um, And then we want to get rid of where I created on my computer where you see the DW. Yeah. We want to get rid of that. Katie, you said please advise the address at the bottom of the other page. Right, right. Why right. I remember over. that. Why is that not coming up on here? Did someone resolve it? Let me search it and see if it's in there. It was C A R D O Y. I remember that, yeah. What is it? Where was that? Please. <gasps> There was there was a, a word nonsense, in there that it's a nonsense word. Oh. I must have changed it. Did I change it? Did to you figure over? it out what it is? Mm -hmm. Where was it? Search for it. Yeah, for it. I searched for it and don't see it. Well, if you do a spell check, wouldn't it pick it up? If it's a non-word, if you do spell check, it would pick it up. I just did it and it's not in there. I'm sorry, right. I don't remember resolving that. Yeah, though. so it's not showing up. Mm -hmm. All right, good enough. <laughs> and we it's still don't know what it is. Right. And I guess it doesn't matter, right? Maybe it was if on it, one of Donald Trump's tweets. I didn't think <laughs> so. He used to say it must have been in the star report. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Maybe. So are you able to print from here, Katie? Um, I thought we got that fixed so you could print. You know, but then I think you've got a new copier, but let me check and see if I can. Oh. And I did email this to the office staff and said, this is what we're getting ready to sign. Review it, let me know if you have any questions or thoughts, and they didn't get back to me, so I'm it's assuming it's off. We get rid of page one, right? That whole. Yeah, so we got to get rid of that page. Yeah, that's that's go. And then the comment on the top of page two. Or if you look at the top of mm -hmm. page two, You're, not we're not showing. seeing each other do anything? Well, like, no. Oh. That's okay. I want to see if I can find it. Because I don't think I printed. I figured we could no, print no, it here. No, no, there. We're in. Yep, we're seeing what you're doing. Okay. You want to? Uh, does this stay? No, no. That, that goes. Really bad. That came from the previous page. Right. Somehow. And where it says what adopted is? on, do you want to type the date? Yep. Today's date should go in there. Get that. Do you see there's a common pink thing with your name on it, Cliff? I think that's what I'd come out with. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then if, if you curse and scroll down to the last page. Um don't say November, yep. Now, 
So will it, so you don't know if it'll print? Because I can get in there if it prints out in there. All right, let's see if it does. Do you need to label the page numbers? Because if this page gets lost or separated yeah, from the put previous in a, page. Mm -hmm. put in a footer. Mm -hmm. Do we have anything else we can do while poor Katie is doing that? Instead of hovering? We can. Yeah. Right. Well, we agreed that we would sign it this time, so I don't know whether we need another motion to no. sign it. I think we did that last time. Mm -hmm. um, I'll give you a, just a quick update. We received an abatement request from Martha Levin. We did an abatement a few years ago because their house burned. Um, so I don't know if it's just something maybe that can be fixed internally with the listers, giving Sandra the updated information. Maybe she just needs to uh, send a revised tax bill. I don't know. So oh, like we're still taxing on a burned house, as right? Though, as though there was still a house, right? Oh, we are. And we and we and we abated and, a house. and then we abated it in 2016 or 17 for this exact same reason because the house burned. But the lister, doesn't that just mean the listers haven't updated the... That's what, that's what we're trying to, that's what I'm yeah. saying. We're trying to yeah. get to the bottom of it, that maybe we won't right. have to have an abatement request, but she filed a request. It's just a piece of land, yeah. Um, let's see. What else is going on? That's pretty much it. We're not, meet, we're not meeting next Monday night, the 19th. Yeah. You and Sharon are both gone. It's Thanksgiving week. Oh, it's not you could. Yep. Alrighty. But then we'll be meeting on the 26th. Yep. Um, well, look, that's the Monday after Thanksgiving week. Yeah, that's the Monday after Thanksgiving week. Cross mm -hmm. Oh dear. Well, you said you were going to be gone the 19th, though. So. Mm, I, have, I have to work. Yeah. I'm calling it work. Um, so the next regular meeting would be. November 26th. Yeah. Which, can I, I didn't hear it go, but I see there's something on that printer. I print, I press, is this open? I gotta get my key. Okay. I sent um, it twice. Once without page numbers. Yeah, November 26th is a regular meeting. And then we'll be into December where we're gonna have the MFD quarterly meeting and all kinds of stuff. Hmm, crew. The winter's half over. It hasn't started. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to need to go into executive session to discuss personnel matters and confidential so per, secret per, stuff. Per the personnel, I don't have it right in front of me, Katie, but read it. And yes. the, to talk about, oh, here we go. I had um, something about the orders that I wanted to say. Um, it didn't print me. I, I have something to say about them too, but they're personality related. So. I think that's going to be what, it, if you're thinking the same thing as me, John, that's a personnel. It's a couple. Yeah. At least. Okay. Um, the only other thing I wanted to say that I think isn't personnel is. Um, it seems like the road crew is still on the summer schedule, the four 10 hour days. No, I talked to Alfred about that. Too. Oh, because they're doing in the, half days on Friday. Yeah. Oh, because I looked at the time cards. Yeah, I looked at the time cards. And they were so. four 10 hour days. Oh, really? Yes, up to when? I don't know, John. You got the papers in front of you. I don't think it's printing. <laughs> so maybe we can. <laughs> I'll have to call the cell. Yeah, she had it set up a few months ago. Sorry. Right on the bottom. No, that's okay. But you know what? Never mind. Don't call him. I'll just print oh, it no, off. Was, and was, okay. You taxes. did not vote last meeting to oh, approve right. it. Yeah. To, oh, we didn't. You did not. You decided not to last meeting. Oh, I think that's okay. okay. I think that's right. So why don't we just yeah. vote to approve it effective today, as it says on the mm -hmm. on the document. <laughs> and if people can people just stop by and sign it? <coughs> Not you sign for me. Oh, you wanted the date? Yes. October 29th to November 4th. Wow. 
Okay, so um, maybe this week they've started. They're multitasking. She told me they're yes, I will come doing by half days okay. Fridays now. Uh, okay. They're doing half days on Friday? Yes, we can sign it Wednesday. So, we'll stop by you know, the other work. thing I think, you know, you could talk about under personal yeah. or whatever. I don't yeah. know. It's right. about their hours that yes. they get six o'clock in the morning if it's not snowing. I mean, we talked about right. seven right. to three right. instead of six. Yeah. All right. So we need a motion to approve the policy with board members agreeing to stop by and sign it. Effective today. So uh, you can sign for me, Denise. You can sign every document. Okay. I'll just do an electronic. Yeah. Signature thing for you. Thank you. So that was the credit card policy. Right. And we're going to sign it electronically for John. Okay. Second. All those in favor, is there any further discussion? Please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. All right. So I would entertain a motion to go into executive session to discuss personnel matters for 1 BSA section 313A3 and contract issues and the Legal reference, I don't know. Do you know what that is? No, it's one of the 313 stuff. 313 TBD. I don't think you need to say the statute. Just say it's, it's contract related. It's contract and personnel related. related. Personnel related. Period. At 858. 858. Is there a second to that motion? I have a second to that. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. <laughs> 